If you're a Cypress user and you actually watched the last video in the channel, you remember that we had a lot of changes, right? We used to have an integration folder and now we don't. We used to have a plugins folder and a file and now we don't. We also have another change having a, a cypress.config.js file instead of a cypress.json file. And we don't know, or actually you may be wondering if all the plugins that we have installed in our project and all the stuff could work correctly with the new version of Cypress. I'm going to try to, well, guide you step by step and well get your project migrated correctly without any kind of issue and i can tell you that it won't affect because the migration guide is pretty useful and clear and well cypress then is working smoothly with the projects that i'm involved so let's go ahead and take a look how to do it all right so basically as you probably know i have a repository with the, the demo framework that I've, I've i've been working in the latest um months right we have reviewed a lot of stuff for example using side requests for api testing we have reviewed the data driven testing how to use fixtures how to iterate how to integrate some plugins how to run jenkins or actually run cypress and jenkins use a docker file to run cypress and docker and a lot of stuff the latest change and the latest integration that i have done is, is using lighthouse to measure the best practices accessibility performance and and the ceo stuff for a web Website. I want to check if the Lighthouse in plugin could work immediately after the migration because now we don't have a plugins folder. So let's go ahead and clone the repo, all right, and install the latest dependencies using the command npmi. I've done that before to save a bit of time, right? But you're gonna notice that the package that JSON is pointing to Cypress 9 and the node modules is working fine, right? How I can migrate Cypress to then to, to the version 10, I'm sorry, and, and make it work correctly. Well, the command is this one, npm install a d, all right? And the, well, the word Cypress are uh, at latest. So it is going to be installing Cypress, the latest version, and the reference is going to be changed in the dev dependency property in the package.json. Also, the package log.json has suffered a change. You can see it over here. Uh, well, so now, we have i'm referencing the correct version and the correct integrity version here also the resolved one okay so now that i have done that it is basically it right that's the only command that you need now i'm gonna be running the cypress um runner using the command cypress open over here all right npm run cypress open let's let's take a look of that Cypress is going to be executed and you're going to notice that we have another UI here, all right? Instead of having end-to-end uh, -end and component testing, it is telling us that welcome to Cy Cypress 10. We can check the highlights over here in the video, all right? That's something that you First must adding or end -end if you want, if your you can application take a look. Further along. I'll try to explain them the difference over here, okay? Um, and now I just have to, well, if you want to check the release notes, you can do it, but I'm going to click on continue to Cypress 10. And we have a migration helper window. I know that the Cypress uh, development team has worked a lot of the, on this um, window because I have uh, seen or actually I, I saw a tweet uh, where... where uh, one developer explained that i really want to thank you because of this effort because it's pretty easy right uh, okay let's take a look of this um you can see that it is telling us that we need to rename the existing specs okay the the first change here is change the cypress integration folder to cypress end-to-end -end. As, and as you can see it is identifying all the specs that i have here that has integration in in its path to change to end-to-end and if your specs has the well the old style spec file name it should change this um, well it, well i'm not sure why in this framework it is not working because i have tested this in another framework and it should change the spec to psi immediately right because if you remember in the last video we saw that now the structure is for example the name of the test or the name of the file 
.sci.js. It doesn't mean that if it is a well, structure with the spec is not going to work because it worked. I'm going to show you that in a few seconds, but that's something that you probably need to change manually to well fit the new standard. Okay, you need to change the spec um, name or that particular property to sci. That's something that I just wanted to mention, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to rename the specs for me. Now you can see that in the new framework or in my framework, now we have an end-to-end -end folder with all the stuff that we need. That's good. That's that's perfect. Then it is telling me that the Cypress support file uh, is new. Now it is not index.js. Um, it has to be end-to-end.js. -end that's something important and we need to do it. I'm going to rename it. You're going to notice that in the framework, now under support, we have an end-to-end.js file. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Um, I'm going to rename it, all right? And I have done that before, right? <laughs> and also it is telling me that the Cypress configuration file has changed and we need to migrate from cypress.json like this particular change here to cypress.config.ts or js depending on your configuration in my case it's going to be cypress.config.ts okay now i'm going to just migrate and you're gonna notice how the uh, my framework has a cypress.config.ts and all this stuff is migrated correctly okay here we have some changes. The first one is that we cannot use the Experimental Studio anymore. If you remember, I've done some videos about the Cypress Studio, which was a kind of record and play tool that Cypress was developing to just, well, record the steps that you're doing in a website and it was automatically generated uh, some, some steps, right? It was translated to Cypress code and you don't need to know, well, a lot of stuff or, or programming, just record and play, but this particular feature is totally removed from Cypress 10, okay? We need to remove it from uh, this Cypress configuration file. And also, let me show you this. Um, if you check the end-to-end -end, um, configuration in the Cypress config, right? You can see that we are requiring here the plugins index.js file. Why? Because well, of course, let me check if I'm recording, and I am. Right now, Cypress is not supporting anymore the plugins file. You can see it in the scratch configuration here. We don't have a plugins file, but they respect that, well, we need to use some plugins yet, and we, we had an old configuration that has to be migrated. So it is saying that we have imported your old Cypress plugins here, and you may want to clean this up later by, by importing this directly here in this file. But right now we are requiring requiring the plugins file over here. So everything is going to be working smoothly and fine. So we don't have to take care of anything else. It is going to be working fine. Something important here is that the spec pattern is now referencing the, the, all the tests in under end-to-end. Um, it is important to mention that this spec pattern is replacing the test files property in the old Cypress JSON. And well, that's basically it. That's all that you need to know. Right now, it should work. Let me show you. I'm going to come here to my package.json. Well, well, actually, I don't have to. And I, I'm going to come to the end to end testing part here, right? And uh, well, I'm going to click on Chrome. And basically, that's it, right? I can, for example, run the Lighthouse uh, spec that I did in the last video where I was using Cypress 9. And you're going to notice that it is going to work perfectly, okay? You're going to notice that, well, the execution is fine. Everything is working fine. We only have a new UI, right? You're going to, we're going to explore the UI in a few seconds, okay? Let me show you this. As soon as the the test ends, right? Hmm? We're gonna have as always a kind of time travel machine where we can check what was happening in the test, right? We can come back to the specs part and check if we want to run another spec. For example, I used to have a sauce spec, right? Where where I was using the page object model, we can use it as well. Everything is gonna be working fine, and there was no kind of migration thing that we needed to do, right? Everything is working perfectly as before. I just wanted to show you a trick because, 
well, I wanted to provide some value to you. Okay, let me show you this. If I execute Cypress 10 from scratch over here, right? It is going to be opening the UI and we need to, well, select the end-to-end -end testing if we want to use that option or component it depends on you and then we have to select the web browser that we want to run in this case chrome we can avoid that particular process we can tell cypress that we need to open the test runner using chrome and i want to open the end-to-end -end pattern okay or the end-to-end -end test type okay so what we have to do here is come here to um, chrome I'm sorry, to Cypress open and tell them that I want to run this with the browser Chrome and I want to run the end-to-end -end testing, okay? And that's it. <laughs> Let me show you that. If you, want, if you want to run the component testing, you have to replace end-to-end -end with component, okay? But you can see that initializing configuration and it is operating Chrome by default and all this, the specs are working or actually displayed as expected here so guys i hope that you enjoyed this video <clears throat> video i'm sorry i'm dying and well let me know in the comment section if you like this kind of videos please subscribe and let a like and see you in the next one bye bye guys